Uh, today I'm going to uh, introduce you to a, uh, a small uh, utility under setup. This is Frugal Pup, which is a flexible frugal uh, uh, ISO installer to a hard drive. So it's built into a uh, more modern uh, a puppy Linux. Uh, what I'm running uh, today is a Fossa Pup 64 CE, which you can, the ISO uh, is uh, available in this uh, uh, puppy Linux discussion, discussion forum. This is uh, on my computer today. I'm running uh, uh, two uh, uh, I, uh, puppy Linux ISO distributions. Uh, one is a uh, CE2. Uh, C dash uh, two, but it's actually uh, as I shown you, it's the uh, Fossa Pub 64 CE, and uh, uh, the other one that I can boot into using Grub uh, when I uh, reboot is uh, Vanilla D Pub, uh, uh, which uh, is not going to be highlighted today. What we will be doing using Frugal Pub. Uh, utility is that we'll be installing uh, yet another uh, recent uh, uh, puppy link Linux called Jamie 64 pup and uh, you can download the uh, ISO right here is di uh, ISO is up up uh, dash 22.04 dash uh, this ISO here and it's uh, you can uh, I'll go ahead and put a link uh, in the in the description but before we actually uh, uh, use the uh, frugal pub utility, uh, I need to uh, show you uh, uh, with my G parted. I have on one hard drive uh, as shown here that's in, uh, broken up into four different partitions. Um, and the first partition is uh, obviously where the grub resides, and the second partition is uh, where I'll be installing the. Uh, uh, so I'll be installing uh, up up. Um, we're gonna make it uh, up dash uh, two. Uh, we'll be installing. Uh, so let me just show you. So this is uh, what this is the ISO that I've downloaded, and we'll be installing the ISO uh, into this uh, partition. Uh, using frugal pub uh, that I'll be uh, showing you uh, shortly so uh, that's what the second partition is and the third partition is SDA3 uh, is uh, where I'll be uh, uh, saving my save folders uh, and if you look and then I've elected to put it under uh, folder name of save uh, and uh, with the partition uh, label of capital A S A V. So this would is where the save folder will reside. And uh, when when we uh, boot into up dash uh, two, the ISO uh, that we downloaded here after uh, when we use that, it'll, the save folder uh, will go in here. Uh, using the uh, a frugal pup, so um, so in the fourth uh, partition is uh, where I have all the data files, the uh, music, photos, and uh, documents, and so on. Because this uh, this folder, uh, this partition would be shared by any. Uh, Puppy Linux uh, uh, ISO that you uh, decided to use when you first uh, boot into it. So, and I because I have more than four uh, gig of the RAM, I have no swap file or s uh, swap folder or file. So we'll fire up the uh, Frugal Pup uh, under uh, setup. You can go into. Uh, a uh, frugal pup flexible frugal installer so now uh, this particular iso puppy iso does have it uh, installed uh, 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 on default but if you don't have it you may be able to download it from puppy uh, package manager or from the uh, 
uh, puppy uh, forum. So we'll go ahead and fire it up. So you get this uh, screen when you first uh, start the uh, uh, a frugal pup. So we'll have to go into settings. First thing is you want to go ahead and go into set settings. And because I'll be using a separate save folder location, which is uh, in my case SDA3, I have to make sure that this is uh, checked. So I go ahead. So that's the first part. The second part is we will be installing a puppy ISO. So we'll go ahead and click uh, ISO and uh, puppy. And here's the ISO that's uh, already clicked. And then uh, we'll be going, we'll, we'll go to the down, download folder. So where I have the, uh, I've downloaded the ISO. So simply just grab with a left click mouse and just drag it over into this window and it uh, recognizes it. And then go ahead and OK. And then where we want to put it is under uh, SDA2 uh, with a label of pups. It's a single click, so we'll just go ahead and go ahead and OK. And then we'll create a folder for where all the uh, f the uh, SFS files uh, should go into. So we'll create a folder and I've elected to name it so up dash C2. So we'll go ahead and up dash C2. So that's the ISO uh, file. So we'll go ahead and uh, make sure that you uh, uh, you uh, hit the enter key right here. Okay, now we are into that folder C2 and then we'll go ahead and uh, give it okay. Okay. Now it wants to know a separate save partition uh, location. So we'll go ahead and make sure that it's under uh, SA SDA3 which with a label of SAV and then we'll go ahead and Okay, and then we want to put it under save a folder. And if you don't have it and you're following this uh, uh, video, you need to go ahead and create a uh, uh, save folder uh, uh, in this SDA3. Okay, but I already have it. I'll go ahead and click on it. So now this is where the uh, save folder is up. 30 uh, up C2 is going to uh, be later. Okay, so we'll go ahead and instruct the grub that this is where we expect the save folder to be in. So we'll go ahead and OK. And it's pretty much ready at, uh, at least to put the uh, uh, necessary files from this ISO into partition 2. You, you'll notice that you don't even need the USB uh, installation stick. Uh, when we're doing this. So we'll just go ahead and give it an OK and it's uh, copying the necessary files. And we'll go ahead and take a look into that folder. And here is the UP-C2. So it's uh, just filing, uh, putting all those uh, in. So we'll just go ahead and close that. And it's finished putting it in. Now we have to configure the grub and we do that with the boot. Again, this is a UEFI machine. So uh, with a regular older legacy BIOS, the procedure is uh, uh, different. Uh, it's much simpler. So we'll go ahead and uh, give it a click here. And then we'll be using the uh, default partition uh, is uh, SDA2 uh, is here. So we just OK to use. We'll go ahead and just give it an OK. Now it wants to know where we're going to put the, uh, and this is the, uh, these are the ISOs uh, files. So we'll go ahead and that's OK. Still OK. Now it wants to know the partition where we're going to write a new uh, grub file. So it's correct. It's SDA1. 
and we give it an OK. And in my case, uh, uh, it's a 64 bit machine, so I go ahead and give it a click on UEFI 64 and then give it an OK. And it's ready to write a new, uh, new uh, grub uh, file with the information from this uh, ISO. So we'll go ahead and give it an OK. And we'll give it a second. It's already written in. And then, so that's basically how you use the uh, uh, frugal pup uh, to add a puppy ISO to already existing puppy uh, UEFI machine. So let's now what we're going to do is take a look at the uh, file directly. So this is a new uh, grub. So we're going to put it under Genie. So here is the uh, uh, file. So, uh, what we'll take a look at is, if you look at t take a look at uh, this closely here, this is a C-2, so this is not the uh, one that we just installed. So we can just go down to the one that we just installed, which is UP-C-2, okay? So I prefer to just uh, a a menu entry, uh, rather than up up 22 uh, for I prefer to go ahead and just say up C2 because then I know this is the uh, ISO uh, this is the uh, menu entry the reason I put this on uh, this here is not necessary but in my case when the computer uh, boots the uh, there is a uh, because of the uh, uniqueness of this uh, particular uh, Samsung computer, there is a small message that comes up that blocks the view of the different uh, menu entry of the grub. And I, for if I just give it an extra space, uh, it it does not get blocked. So I know which uh, uh, ISO I'm, I'm putting into. So simply that. And then this is the vanilla pup. So vanilla pup, I'm just used to seeing on my uh, uh, grub menu VP11, VP-11. So I'm just getting this uh, from here. So similarly, similarly, uh, we want to put in some dash here, like from up here. So roughly so. So that's a similar spacing. And then the first one, which is C E So we'll give us a roll uh and then we'll say C E dash two. I know which one it is. Okay. Now as is as the uh, grub is configured, it uh automatically will choose uh C E dash two because the set default is at zero. But I do not want automatically for it to go into C E dash two. I prefer to have it go into the uh, up a dash a C two so which uh can be picked by just simply uh giving it one. So this is zero, next one is one and the third one is uh vanilla D pup is uh, 2. So we'll just go ahead and make this. So when it reboots automatically, it just goes into uh, uh, up dash C2. So then, uh, then you just simply save it. So now, that's essentially how you use the machine, uh, how you use the uh, utility.